Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next fighter out of the blue corner, Kam Pi Pe Yong. And his opponent out of the red corner, Fuad Tarverdi. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. This is a 10-round affair for the vacant Asian Boxing Federation Continental Light Heavyweight Championship. Fighting out of the blue corner with a professional record of 24 wins, 11 losses, and two draws. Hailing from Thailand, this is... With a professional record of eight wins, three losses, and no draws. Hailing from Azerbaijan, this is Fuad the Flash Tomardi. Judges ringside, Deepak Si Sane, Bimai Bosuan, and Carlos Costa. Supervisor for this is Surapok Hong Jinbanit. Referee in charge, Chris Sanyadev. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we resume the action with our first title fight on the card. It's between Azerbaijan and Thailand. Kampi Payom in the blue and Fuad Tarverdi in the red. Okay, both fighters in the orthodox stance. Tarverdi dressed all in white, apart from the gloves that are obviously red to signific significate his corner. Tarverdi with a nice stiff jab to start the action. We always like a fight that starts with a good jab and a lead up a good as well. And a nice return from Campi already. Fighters throwing some beautiful shots. Campi Payon not having any of it, like happy to fire straight back with his power punches. And not that anybody asked, but somebody was shouting from the stands, Salvador Sanchez. And that's because um, Fouad Tavadi actually looks like Salvador Sanchez. And interestingly, he threw a lead uppercut, which is something Salvador Sanchez was very well known for. So maybe it's a reincarnation of Salvador Sanchez, but a beautiful analogy. And he actually threw the same shot Salvador for us. Beautiful stuff for any of those boxing geeks out there. But Campy though, really taking his time going for the body. A flurry comes straight back there from Tarverdi. And Campy knows how to weather storms. He does this very often. He likes to get gritty. He likes to march on you, and he really likes to dig down to the body as well. He's got a lot of power, and it almost depends on what is Campy's mood that day, because I've seen him get really aggressive, and I've also seen him flirt around with a jab. Overhand right there from Campy, and straight right to the body. Doesn't connect, but I like the fact that he's taken the fight to Tarverdi early on. Yeah, and that's very interesting, especially if a fighter has landed a huge shot on you early on. Don't waste any time. Start landing those haymakers as early as you can. As soon as you find your range, don't waste any time. Really take the fight to your opponent. 
However, we are scheduled for 10 rounds. So in the opening round, you can really bide your time. However, it looks like these fighters don't want to, Ali. No, they don't. Tarverdi getting tested early on. A few of those overhand rights have gone through the guard of his from Campi Payom. And Payom shelling up very well. But it looked like Tarverdi could sneak an up and up through if he could find the timing, Jimmy. Campi really firing these shots out well, but they were hitting the shoulders of Tarverdi. Tarverdi really did weather those shots very well, but this is the opening round. Less than a minute to go, and we're already seeing huge shots being fired. Can this survive for 10 rounds? And he attempts the shoulder roll alley, but it didn't work for him. Yeah, well, hopefully they can keep this action up for 10 rounds. It's Rock'em Sock'em Robots for 10 rounds of action. It's definitely something that you want to pay to see. Yeah, this is exactly what you expect to tune into. When you turn on boxing, these are the types of fights that you want to see. Two fighters really not wanting to put it on the judges' scorecards. They just want to dig down deep and really give it everything they've got. And that is the bell for 10 seconds to go. Campi and Tarverdi just taking their time now. Who can get the final hit before the end of the round? And it's going to be none of them as we go into round two shortly. The replay's coming your way in a minute. It did calm down after that first, I would say the first two and a half minutes was very intense and then it calmed down. We'll see some of these action replays. So you see, as you mentioned earlier, that Ricky Hatton style, touch him upstairs and go down deep. I would have liked to see these fighters actually really start paying body shots early on. And what I mean by paying them, I mean, Investing in the body shots in a 10 round fight means in the later round your opponent will not be able to withstand as many headshots as well. So you're almost paying an investment in the body shots here. Now, I'd have liked to have seen that a little bit more. It was very back and forth between these two. It's going to be interesting to find out at the end of this fight how the judges have scored it. Yeah, when you're headhunting as well, when you're your opponent was expecting the headshots. Did you notice how they were just holding a high guard, almost turtling up and allowing their opponents to tee off on one another? That is something you've got to really be aware of with your opponent. Are they letting you hit you? Then just start going to the body. Start paying those body shots early. Okay, here we go. Round two underway. Fouad Taverdi in the red corner and Campi Payom in the blue. This is for the ABF Continental Super Lightweight title and we are set for 10. A beautiful first round we've just seen. Will we see a repeat? Often the first round can either be a hit or miss and I don't mean that as a pun. What I mean is the fighters can really go for it because they're so anxious. They've got all that pented up energy that they need to release it and they just really go for it. Or it's a feeling out process where they're just trying to get their timing down. But I think neither fighter wanted to get their timing. I think they just went for it and it's really paid off for both of them. Jab to the body there from Campi Payon. Tarverdi going downstairs as well. Very light clinch from both fighters. Campi Payon just complains to referee Chris Enyadet, saying, what's the back of the head when I'm in the clinch? We've seen that a lot on this card today, though. Tavardi has definitely done his research on Campi because he's already investing in those lead uppercuts. Uppercuts is not something you really do in the opening rounds of boxing. You wait for your opponent to get a little bit more tired before you start doing them. But I think he's researched Campi because Campi always leans forward and that's why he's got such wide shoulders because he's always bringing those shoulders forward with his stance. But he's also, he keeps his elbows out so wide on the, with his guard when he puts his guard up that you can just slot those uppercuts straight up the middle Jim and that's the good point you've just made slot the uppercut in but I don't think Taverdi's trying to slot those uppercuts I think he's just trying to force his way through if he just looked for the timing I think they would get through a lot more remember timing will always beat speed and power there's no point going for a big powerful uppercut that isn't landing clean but the other thing that he's doing Taverdi on the inside especially when he's at close range he's going over and down with the overhand rights and with his hooks too see how he's coming down with the hook instead of going to the side. That's very clever placement there from the Azerbaijani fighter. And you can imagine why he's doing that because that is what um, Triple G used to do all the time and he is definitely from a country that also represents Kazakhstan a lot of the time as well. You can see his corner has a lot of people from Kazakhstan in there as well. So you can definitely know that he's been watching Triple G because that is definitely a trademark shot of Triple G. Yeah, it's been a very dominant round on my unofficial scorecard from Tarverdi. Campi Payom has pretty much been a boxing bag for the whole round and taking a lot of these very creative punches from Tarverdi. 
I've seen Campy do this for a full 10 rounds before, and in the final round, he really comes alive. He very much likes to let his opponent tee off, but I think Taverdi is not the person you want to do that against. I think you really need to start pushing the pace against him. However, Campy has not once gone down to any of these big shots, which is very much a testament to the chin of Campy. Uppercuts here from Taverdi. Great right hand, and he hit the deck just as soon as the bell went. But referee saying no knockdown. Back into the corner for Campi Payon. A real save by the bell moment there for Campi Payon, Jim. Interesting as well, because obviously, technically, you can't be saved by the bell, but that's exactly what it was because he was knocked down and went down as soon as the bell rang. It was one of those perfectly timed situations where he took a knee when he had to, and I think it was just somewhat lucky it was just after that round because if it was one second before Ali the ref would have had to start the count yeah that was very lucky there from Campi Payon some advantage here from Tarverdi and just peering into the corner of Tarverdi his coach just saying to him you need to get behind the jab a bit more throw singles or doubles and don't go upstairs with that uppercut set that up a bit more I've got to agree Jim you can't just forget the importance of a good jab to set up your attacks. 100%. A jab sets up everything. A jab. You, you've heard many times before, everything off the jab. Even if you're not throwing the jab, you've got to be in the position after the jab as well. So you've got to have your, your base strong. You've got to be in the correct stance. And I think Campy is almost just a little bit desperate at the moment. And I think the only way Campy wins this fight is being desperate and just going for those Hail Mary overhand rights. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Really tried some of them. I want to see him go back to those left hooks of the body that we saw in round one. Great hook connects, though, for Campi Payom. And what we just saw there was Taverdi attempt to shoulder roll incorrectly because he took a lot of those shots. But Taverdi has weathered the storm and still delivering beautiful shots to the chin of Campi. Campi shelling up, but this is where Taverdi goes for work with the uppercuts. It looks like Campy Payon on wobbly legs and down he goes. This knockdown is going to count. Referee is at four, he's at five. Is Campy going to get back up? It doesn't look like he is. And that is it. It all finishes in round three. What a round. Taverdi is the new ABF Continental Super Lightweight Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight has been stopped. In the second round, 49 seconds, your winner!